Hi, this is Tim Bledsoe for the Buttonsmashers.com. Thanks for checking out my review for Wizard of Legend, which I played on Nintendo Switch. Wizard of Legend places the player in a series of dungeons called the Chaos Trials. Starting in the center of a randomly generated maze, your wizard fights through randomly generated monsters and other magical foes until finding the chamber holding the mini-boss of that particular dungeon. Along the way, you may find a shopkeeper or a mysterious stranger who offers you a trade. These swaps can be treacherous as you may find yourself with a cursed item or suffer a drop in stats or health. Beat the boss of the dungeon and you're on to the next. Every third dungeon, you challenge one of the elemental masters of the Lenovian Council of Magic. To aid on your quest, you can equip either one relic that gives you a passive bonus and four different types of spells, or a kana to attack or dash with. These arcana are tied to elements like water, wind, fire, and earth, and there are over 100 arcana you can collect in the game. Wizard of Legend has one of the best tutorials I've seen in the game. Before you embark on your randomly generated dungeon crawl, you start in a museum that is very linear and guided. The museum curators explain the origin of the council and the arcana. As you wander into each room, you are given a sample arcana to practice against straw dummies. You naturally learn how to use your dash power, your melee spell, and your main attack spell. A small child squeals with delight as you unleash your special arcana and blow dummies into smithereens. The museum was well crafted and written, gently guiding the player in understanding the mechanics of chaining arcana into effective attacks. After the revelation that you have been chosen to enter the chaos trials, you are magically whisked to your new home. A series of magically animated objects reminiscent of Beauty and the Beast greet you and help you organize your magic gear. The wardrobe holds your magic robes, the treasure chest organizes your relics, and the tome holds all of your arcana. I really appreciate the elegant simplicity of this introduction to the game and the personal touch of having a spellbook named Tomi instead of just a generic menu. After going through the hub of the town square, you jump right into the dungeon. Every time the layout is different and the decor changes from fiery walls to lush green earth tones. Going around a corner may mean an ambush by several enemies or a simple environmental puzzle or jump. Randomly generated mazes mean sometimes you hit a dead end and after a while the dungeons all start to feel the same. I wish there were other characters to bump into along the way besides shopkeepers, perhaps other young wizards in the trials. I also really wish there were checkpoints between dungeons, a chance to catch your breath and refill your health before tackling the next dungeon. Wizard of Legends has a charmingly simple sprite style, while not super detailed allows for sweet spell animations all over the screen with no slowdown or tearing that I experienced. Combat is fast and furious. If you don't get familiar with the dash button, you're done for. Every attack has a cooldown, which is brilliantly telegraphed as they recharged by a tiny icon appearing briefly. Dash, melee, main, and special are all mapped to each of the face buttons, and I had no trouble chaining these attacks even while playing with a tiny Joy-Con sideways in co-op mode. When you pick up extra attacks, they map to the shoulder buttons, and that got a little more awkward unless I put the Joy-Con grip extenders on. When you get into the zone in Wizard of Legend, it feels great. My sprite would freeze the nearest enemy, I'd send chain lightning through the entire group, singe through them all with my fire dash, and then mop them up with a pounding from my earth fist. When you get in that zone, you truly feel like a Potter level badass. Dungeon crawling is even more fun with a friend, and Wizard of Legend supports co-op on the couch very well. Both players get access to all the arcana and relics you've collected, and you can create very different loadouts that support each other. After enjoying a few hours blasting baddies through dungeon runs, I found myself getting really frustrated. I didn't feel like I was getting any better at the game. I would switch out my arcana loadouts and try new spell combos, but although it was neat to see the effects of different spells, none of them felt any stronger than what I was already using. I would have experimented with more relics as well, but it takes quite a while to rack up enough gems to buy anything, and any items I bought with gold disappeared after my death. Spending my hard-earned gems on spells or relics was also a discouraging process since the marketplace offers a random inventory for sale every visit and the item's effect is not described until after purchase. Since my character never levels up hit points or strength, I never seem to get noticeably stronger with different spells, healing potions drop scarcely, they show up randomly in the dungeon shops, and there are no checkpoints between levels. Because of all these things, I found myself playing the same first dungeons over and over. And although they were randomly generated every time, they still managed to feel repetitious and I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I wish there were checkpoints, or at least a way to restore your health between dungeons. I wish that you could try out spells in the marketplace before purchasing. The training dummies are right there. I wish there was some sense of getting stronger to face the next dungeon run. These frustrations are enough to turn me off from a game that is really fun to play moment to moment.
To sum up, here are my final impressions. Wizard of Legend is a lot of fun in small sessions, especially with a friend playing next to you. The action is hot and heavy, and a fun dungeon run can be had in 15 to 20 minutes. The game offers a lot of variety and exciting magic attacks, controls well, and is very accessible from a playability standpoint. However, in the long term, the player may get frustrated with a seeming lack of progression. Because you aren't able to level up your character and are subject to random enemy placement, it is hard to ideally customize your loadout to successfully get past more than a few stages. While the different arcana are fun and animated well, they feel equally powered and it's extremely frustrating not to know exactly how your new arcana will work before spending your hard-earned gems on them. Random items and no checkpoints just isn't my idea of fun. The feeling of not getting anywhere will lead to very few people completing this game, in my opinion. Like a level 1 fireball, Wizard of Legends flares hot in the beginning, but just fizzles out after a while. The Nintendo Switch copy of Wizard of Legend used for this review is provided to us by its publisher, Humble Bundle. Please check out our other reviews and videos and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to check out thebuntsmashers.com for all your nerd cultural news, and thanks again for watching.